Hi everyone, uh, I'm here today to ask what's your favourite scary movie? Or not really, it's just that I picked this mask up very cheaply and I need to bleach it and make it safer wear but it's kind of awesome that I got it. 50 pence well spent. Uh, there's been quite a bit of shopping, car boot sales were visited and this week I was a big kid and I bought a car. Yeah. Finally got my hands on a Freddy Krueger Cadillac, which is just awesome. Um, it's never coming out of the box. It will appear on Instagram at some point. Although, I personally think Freddy looks a bit too happy in there and chill. But that car is beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, something else I picked up this week. Let's get out of the bag here. Very different from Freddy's car. And it's a little Captain America, his Ford Mustang GT. It irritates me that that door is slightly ajar. I don't know if it's supposed to be that way. I don't think it is, but I don't want to open everything up just to adjust that. I prefer to think of it as an action pose. Um, lovely. Pick those up for, I wouldn't say bargain prices, but uh, pretty good pretty good those who have read my blog uh, for it is man's number at uh, is it dot blogger dot com or dot blogspot dot com for it is man's number dot blogger dot com let's see anyway you all know I raved about Chuck Steele Night of the Trampers last week and I found out that I had a physical disc release and here are the extras on the back I'll be looking forward to Seeing Raging Balls of Steel Justice <laughs> and the music video as well. Uh, some nice extras there. A lot of praise for it and deservedly so, I think. I really like this. If you like cheesy action movies from the 80s, this is a beautiful, loving parody of those. And the stop motion is like really well done. All the attention to detail is lovely. The script is very funny. There are... A wild selection of gags um, from the lines of dialogue to the kind of visual gags that you would find in a Zucker, Abram Zucker sort of movie. Um, love it. Highly recommend it. Get your Chuck Steele on. Like, seriously, do it. Moving on. Something very different from Chuck Steele, but uh, on the podcast this week we will be discussing midnight and i had this on the shelf for some time again some nice extras there i did dip in after i'd watched the film and we discussed it uh, i dipped into the commentary by kat ellinger who I, i've known for some time on facebook and she certainly often leads with some interesting conversation and topics so there's good chat there i haven't looked at the video essay or any of the other extras and i need to listen to Kat's audio commentary fully but I didn't even realize she was on this uh, while it was sitting on my shelf for some time. Midnight is a thriller that I would definitely recommend to people if you're after something a little bit different and something with some interesting points to make um, about well about things that we discuss further in the podcast so I'm not going to say any more about that I'm just going to say it's from Eureka. Uh, if you see it at a price that's good for you, I recommend it. If I remember right, I think... Well, again, you'll need to wait and listen to the podcast to find out how everyone feels about it. But I recommend it anyway, and it's getting a mention in this video. Let's just keep rolling merrily along, because today I got home and this had arrived from my door. Tiger Cage 1 to 3. Nice 100 page booklet in there. Plenty of extra features in that box set. Just have a little look say because I'm not reading them all out for you. Pause the video here and read it. This is back to normal because this is a selection of movies that I have not seen. I've not seen Tiger Cage 1, 2 or 3. So I figured I would just dive in and buy the trilogy all together. If you have any uh, comments about those, if I should get them ASAP, then do let me know because this does look like a great set. 
I think I mention every time the wobbly relationship I've had with 88 films over the years, but they, they put out some good stuff, put out a lot of good stuff, and um, I think they've been trying to work with the right people on and off over the years. Uh, this looks like a really nice package. But we're moving on now to the creme de la creme. Brace yourselves. This is not going to be easy for me to sort out. Yeah, I caved in. Uh, it was the death of Bernard Cribbins that inspired me to get, I think it's the Daleks Invasion Earth 2150 AD. I could be wrong. Um, this is just lovely. Let me open this up here. Okay. Postery. Poster is very postery. Postcards. A collectible mini book. Lots of wonderful photos in there. Uh, anything with Peter Cushing is a treat for me as well. Um, there we go. Another little booklet in there. Some information, so I'm looking forward to diving through those. Uh, another postcard. And that's also collectible coin in there. Oop. Sorry about the wobble. Got to show you the Daleks on the back. They are beyond reason. They wish only to conquer and exterminate you. And obviously, you've got special features on the discs themselves. No surprise to see Kim Newman featured in there. Uh, Dalek Mania's on there. And it's a really lovely two-disc set. I'll be sticking with the Blu-ray. I've not yet caved in for 4K. Let's uh, put those there. I shall sort those out in a moment. Let's have a look in here. The question is, can Kevin undo the box within a decent time frame? And the answer is no, my friends. The answer is no. We'll have to bypass Watford. The place is full of Daleks. Oh, on the inside of the case, how interesting. This is most interesting. It helps if you can say that in a Peter Cushing voice, which I cannot. Again, a collectible mini book. Oh, always a pleasure to see Peter Cushing featured. And the late Brother Cribbins. As I say, his passing reminded me that I didn't have these yet. And these are childhood favourites of mine. Uh, just such a gorgeous, gorgeous set here. Let me get these posters out. More postcards at the bottom. Oh, and what is the coin here? Oh no, it's loose. Ooh. Same on the back. Tension Survivors of London, the Daleks are the masters of the earth. And there we go. Absolutely lovely spiffing. I know that um, for many years I argued against people who uh, insisted that the Doctor Who movies, these movies, were not canon. I was like, why not? Why not? And watching them again as an adult, you easily realise the main differences and uh, why they would not be canon. But these were, for me, uh, just wonderful Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon movies. Uh, let's pop that there. These are just, you know, they're really favourites of my childhood, even though they're not great movies. They are delightful starring roles for Peter Cushing. They have an enjoyable supporting cast. They have the Daleks all over both of them, which were the big uh, pull of a lot of seasons of Doctor Who and still are. They're just a real treat. These sets are now quite expensive. If you can shop around and get them at a decent price, I highly recommend it. If you're a fan, like you need these sets. 
you definitely, definitely need them. Uh, just, yeah, just goes without saying. I will, um, there we go. Kim Newman again, obviously Dalek Mania. There is, uh, I would imagine there's some repetition between the two. I, I don't know if the Dalek Mania documentary is split between them or if it's the same documentary on uh, both discs. But, you know, it is what it is. I think you can't have one without the other and both of them together complement each other beautifully. They will have pride of place somewhere. I'll figure out a nice spot for them. And that's it. I've bombarded you with a selection of purchases this week. A few recommendations. Um, it's always a bit different when the camera's not facing me. So I hope everything's recorded acceptably enough. Um, yeah, feel free to comment on any of these nice shiny things. Even if you're telling me that I have to open that packaging to close the door of the Captain America car. <laughs> then I'll see if I can wheedle my way into it. Until then, uh, until next week, hopefully. See ya.